Hello gamers, we're back with some more Elden Ring PvP and today we're going to look at a build I've created which I like to call the Iceborne. Now this chappy is a Frost Knight from the Consecrated Snowfields. He probably has some really cool lore, lore that I've not created. I know a lot of you like to make lore when you make your builds. It just gives it a bit more of a personal touch I guess. It's not something I've done but it's probably something I should start doing in the future. Now this chappy is all about the cold infused weapons. We are using a strength intelligence build. So the weapons we picked are mostly strength weapons um, rather than dex. There is a few outliers like we've got the uh, Knight's Greatsword which scales better with dex. So if I was to compare both of them infused with cold like this and the Banished Knight's Greatsword, the Banished Knight's Greatsword would do more damage because it's more of a strength weapon. Uh, there is a few other outliers, like we've got the Mesmer Soldier Spear, which actually, um, when you cold infuse it, it scales better with intelligence rather than strength, which is not normally how cold works, but you know, it is what it is. We do have a few other weapons we're going to use. We've got the Stormcaller on this, so you get the bleed and cold build up when you're doing the Stormcaller Ash of War. We have got the uh, Night Rider Glaive, and I really want to try out the Ghost Flame Call, which is a new Ash of War from the Shadow of the Earth Tree. And yeah, we've got other weapons like this one, because... Storm Stomp, now true combos into the R2. So that's pretty much the weapons we're using. It is a strength intelligence build, 54 strength and then 22 intelligence. So we have options to use intelligence weapons like the Ruins Greatsword and the Watchdog's Colossal Weapon. Now for the drip, we're using the Helm of Solitude, the Divine Beast Warrior, Fire Prelay and the Ball Goat because I think it looks quite drippy and I've not seen anyone use this um, armor set yet altogether. So I'm going to claim it. And then we've got the talismans, which this will be the standard setup. We will switch them around depending on the weapon we use. As always, if you like the video, feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe. That stuff really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. If you don't do any of that stuff, I appreciate you being here either way. And I appreciate your viewership. That's pretty much all I've got to say about the build. Let's get into it and let's have some fun. Oh, it's the gamers from earlier. Well, they've got a distance from when we last met them in Lanedale. Insane. It hasn't got that much range, dude. Well, it probably has, actually. Dark Moon Greatsword. Oh. That R1. One-handed R1 always catches me off guard. Walk into this, dude. Well, you walk into this. You're really going to try an L2 through my L2. Insane game, in. GG's White Mask. This guy's a Chad, though. A sword of Night and Flame. I tried to dangle it, didn't work. And pick! GG's. Alright, give me the backstab on this. No, we can't. Uh, hold this, dude. Oh, he did hold <laughs> Oh, GG's dude, very fun. Good stuff. Well, this is a great spawn. Hello, dudes. Let me just do that. Oh, that's not going to be fun. Right, hold this, gents. Oh, insane. Not a single one. Just hyper armored for the whole lot of that. Fair play. Uh, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. We have survived. Oh, I'm one. I don't think we've got any PV here, bruv. We can all do bow and arrow, dude. Oh, that wasn't even him. <laughs> Poor chap. Was... Oh, okay, he's got the, the cancerous bow. Let's do some cancerous bow of our own. Not nice, is it? Milk. Although I don't understand why his doesn't do any damage at all. Uh, what can we use? Okay, so they have... Yep, they've pulled the PB in. Oh, he's not got a good connection. Don't know why I got hit with them, but it was hard. Right, just take one of them out if we can, hopefully. Well, I'm sorry, Milk. You started the bow and arrow war first. I do apologise. Oh. That heals already. Oh, we'll Swift Slasher. Insane gaming. Insane tracking. 
Yep, unfortunately that's going to work, dude. Okay. Well, we'll take it. Should not get Moonval R1 to death now. Alright, dude, me and you. Well, that's asking for a parrot. Okay, maybe it's not. Well, give them a moon veil, watch them spam R1. The unfortunate way of the gamers. Well, GG's, fellas. Very good. It's actually, I think it's my first invasion here. It's cool. Well, there they are. There's the gamers. Let's go and say howdy. Spinning slash. Spin to win gaming. Okay, maybe not. Let's ease off the L2 mic, yeah? We've got a madness gamer. <laughs> Insane throw. <laughs> Did you know I was the greatest free ammo known to man? Yeah, that's not fun. We don't want that. We definitely don't want to get madness. I do love madness stuff, though. I wish they had more. Well, at least a different variety, not just a spear and a few incantations. Ah, uh, thought I could have spaced that. Okay, uh, we may try and parry that. Here's a fan because he likes it a lot. All this dude. Not one of them held it. Okay, well the free aims are getting a little bit better. Insane random neutral R1. <laughs> Bonk. Uh, really want to parry that piercing fang. And he really wants to make me mad. I'm already mad playing this game, unfortunately. Oh, we survived. Let's just heal up. It doesn't. I'm sure that procs madness on yourself. Is he not mad yet? Okay, I could jump it. It was. He really wants to send me mad. And we'll take it. Spin to win gaming. No stamina. Ah, we got it. <laughs> we got the Sombro as well. GG's fellas. Very cool. Good build. Alright, the gamers are coming. Let's go watchdogs. We haven't used watchdogs yet. Hello, chads. A couple of white masks. Oh, same range. Oh, that was unfortunate, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, he's fat rolling. I am sorry, dude. R2! <laughs> GG's. The Watchdogs, uh, great sword. He's so much fun. I love the R2 on it. Oh, bonk chads. Are you waiting for me? Insane free aim. That was a bit better. I have to get better at that. Always oh, going to try and one-shot me with that, isn't it? Got to be careful here, because that will probably one-shot me. Yeah, let's not try and trade R2 against his colossal weapon mod, yeah? We should have been frostbitten by now, though. Oh, one of these is getting back. Yep, backstabbed. Take it on that tab. What about this guy? Oh, he's getting serious. He's using his flask. Walk into that, dude. Backstab that, yeah, we will. No, there's no vigor. All bonk, no vigor. Right, dude. Let me parry your class of weapon. I want to parry it. Cool. And. Beep. Oh, he survived. These are all endurance and no vigor. Chads. Oh, GG's, dude. Very fun. 
cool ass bonk builds. Bonk is the way. Oh, let's try and get down there while we got a little bit of help. Just want to get my 100 buffs off. Oh, too late. Okay. Has they just pulled out a great bow? Nothing annoys me more than when people try and cheese with great bows. But we can do a bit of cheese in the battle own, dude. Hold this. Oh, insane. Oh, that's unfortunate. You've got no flasks left. See, we could have had a good fun fight, but you decided to cheese. Oh, that was sneaky, White Mask. Sneaky, sneaky. I love more, nothing more than ignoring the Sunbros when they try and get you at the end. It's a shame some of these locations were only released with the DLC because some of them are so cool to fight in. You know, we're not going to get a lot of time with them, really, because people are... The, the activity of Elden Ring's already dying down quite a lot, which is a shame. Oh, we always got the... The, um, the Catalyst Frosting Sword. Okay, let's not jump into his blue pew-pew mic. Okay, we've got a Dragon and a Lamenter Bonk build. Uh, already pressed the R2. Well, let's not get caught with that. Ah, uh, early rolled. Right, Mike, sort your life out. Play better here. That's one down. Wizard down. No time for this guy. Big stinker. I've just seen his name. <laughs> Trigombo. Of course, he's going to bonk out of hit stunt. Bonk this, dude. Yeah, I've got greedy. Should have healed that bleed. What oh, a big stinker. Hold this. Oh, he ducked it. Insane. Well, we'll take it. He's a trading monster. Quite literally a trading monster. The Lamenta Mask is so cool though. Ah, finally. We have arrived at our destination. No thanks to From Software's spawns. Hello dudes. I love that art so it's oh it's, we've not got a good connection them by the looks of it. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna try and R2 R1 there. Ah, I thought I could strafe that go around him. That R2 is so cool. Walk into that dude. Okay, just be wary there is a hunter behind me. I don't want to get backstabbed from the, uh, the blue. And true combo. Ah, that stamina. Oh, we'll take it. The R2 on the watchdog is so nice. Right, dude. We get a backstab. No, we can't. Oh, we've got a, an Ipe there. An Ip. Well, this dude's uh, roll discipline's pretty good, I must admit. Okay, it wasn't that time. Oh, sound connection. And GG's. Good night. Well, the blue never made it. Let's see if we can hit him. Yeah, Ghost Flame Core. We haven't used it yet, so let's give it a try. The game is coming. Hold this dude. Oh, is that a Viper Armor? Oh. And bonk! The R2 speed upon that, um, the Halberds is so nice, well, especially the, the Black Knight's Glaive. It's almost as fast as the R1. The neutral R1, anyway. Oh, GG's, dude. I would say level your vigor, but I don't think you would have survived either way. Very fun.